and then uh, if we can see here we have uh, we have three days so we have enough time for this position but uh, what I want to do is just check the markets a little bit and then see uh, you know if it's going to go positive or negative and then take uh, take the appropriate action the other thing we can do of course in both these positions is as you can see on the shorts we have a nice profit so we can book the profit and let the longs run if that's what uh, the market wants to do if it wants to punch higher then that's what we can do but uh, as of now i think just let's just wait for a couple of minutes and see how to deal with this other than that uh, if you look at the movers um, the booking is down four but that's not a whole lot for booking um, then we have let's just go to market watch i think that's better and uh, we have um, uh, alphabet is down three as we, you know we know that so alphabet is going to is going down but the smp is moving up so i just want to be a little careful here before we do anything other than that amazon is down about for uh, seven and caterpillar is down five my goodness that's a lot for cap uh, for caterpillar so don't know if there's any news around it or uh, some earnings related issues but uh, you know that's where it is and tesla is down six so tesla has been very bearish also so that's also a potential trade that uh, we can look at so let's just watch the s p and uh, see what it is okay it's coming down and uh, google also seems to be coming down so let's just say be prepared with google so let's say uh, 31 meter. i would say just you know take a three contract position here i'm not taking it i'm just keeping it ready and just checking uh, i think if the sentiment is negative then we can do that okay netflix is going down google is also going down so i'll tell you what let's go in for three contracts at uh, I think it was 520 I'm going to go in on Google the 1100 put okay 1100 put and Netflix we have booked a loss of 115 yesterday so that's something that we'll have to keep in mind it's about a $200 profit on that put okay SMP is moving up nicely I'm going to take this okay because um, we don't want to lose uh, lose the profit on the put we got out at 650 uh, and so that's a profit of 360 there. So uh, now let's see if uh, if Google can come up again a little bit. Is take off some of the this uh, short call also and book some profit there and give the long call a chance. So I'm going to take off just uh, three. I'm going to uh, buy. Let me maximize this because it's going up now. I'll buy three. Okay, at 210. Okay, so. And so the way we want to look at these calculations is if we can get the PL day to about 400 or so, then uh, we would be breaking even PL for the day because it was down 400 uh, at the beginning. That is on Google. On Netflix, we have booked a loss of 115 already. And uh, we're just letting, uh, we'll see what uh, what needs to be done here. Maybe we can let Netflix also run a little bit. Uh, it's uh, Netflix seems to be going up. I'll tell you what, this thing is going, the long call, 375 call is going for 86 cents. So it's a great opportunity to double down. So I'm doubling down on the long call there, five um, and let's say 88 cents. That's a, just an addition of $440. And that would give, a chance for Netflix also to recover uh, quicker. Okay, so I just took off the, uh, the the short calls also because as you can see, Google is moving up and so is Netflix. Um, so we booked the profit on that. Now we need the PL day on Google to come up to at least 400. That would be close to a break even trade. And Netflix, we have a little bit more room to go. We need to uh, overcome this 355 plus the yesterday's we booked a loss of 115 so about uh, 450 or uh, 500 uh, on Netflix we need to recover should we book yeah uh, the uh, but I'm also thinking that Vic uh, on the Netflix um, we can book this profit and then we would be left with a delta of 150 that's not too bad okay so let's book this uh, because I think uh, but, but I want to see the charts change a little bit here uh, right now this bar is looking a little weak we can book it 70 cents okay 
so now we now we have uh, we have exposed to about 10 of uh, uh, a 10 of uh, the logs okay on netflix and for netflix we needed to come to 500 pnl for the day and on google we needed to come to about 400 okay 457 folks uh, google i'm going to peel peel things off now I'll probably take off uh, five contracts at uh, 310 looks like so that's a profit of 457 there we would be clearly past the break even point there we can get it we should get uh, 310 we should get better 310 okay we exited that so now we are left with three longs and uh, the profit is 427 412 seems some weakness again over here 397 i'm going to take it just close google off and uh, uh maybe a small loss uh, mostly most likely you know very close to a break even so tell you what give it a little netflix what i want to do it's moving up it's looking good it's only 0.8 so i'm going to add five to netflix because um you know you can cost average and just give it the best chance for it to move 85 cents so that's just an addition of 400 dollars to the trade but it might be well worth it because um if it can now our uh, trade price the average price is 1.63 and of course we can always make it a, a debit spread at some point to 28 10 call i'm going in three contracts at 490 on the spx tomorrow's expiry it's a wednesday expiry okay uh, netflix is up 392 for the day we are not quite there but i'm going to peel off some because we've got 15 contracts so that's a little heavy position there i'm going to sell five five 1.12 obviously it will be taking a little bit of a loss we are at 335 let's see 382 oh, 401 okay it's moving up now 396 so 1 114 113 i'm going to take uh, five contracts off okay 114 got it i'm going to put it at 1.2 as a limit order okay 1.2 so still left with five contracts and we are at 478 462 so almost at break even there on netflix as well i mean you know it may not sound like too much but when you have two trades that were down 400 and 500 and if you can bring that to break even that's a, that's definitely a win on on uh, uh, on any um, you know by any standards it's definitely a win if you can get those two trades back to break even that is definitely a win let's see 1.23 i'm taking it okay so we are out on netflix and google brought both of them back to us uh, back to a back to a break even uh, situation so i'm going to add two contracts here okay so we are in okay it's not able to do it I think I'm just going to make it a debit spread on the SPX here. So yeah, exit. Uh, I executed that now because uh, it, uh, it that 2800 is a big round number. I'm going to see if we can book the profits on this and uh, let the long run a little bit. I think it may be a time to try this uh, tactic here right now. So I'm going to uh, buy this back, the short call at 2815 strike price, and uh, let's see if the S&P can move up okay all right 1.6 we are out and that was a profit of 600 on the short call 325 i'm taking it guys 410 uh, that's 400 dollars. okay right there 375 475 okay i'm taking it because it's hitting up right up against that but it's uh, it's moving nicely but i don't want to take a risk all right i got in i got out at 450 let's see what did we do up 600 on the spx 600 dollars. okay for the day all right folks i will end it here uh, for the day not too bad uh, spx was a good recovery it had to punch through that 28 number 2800 uh, uh, big round number and i think it did but uh, as far as this trade was concerned i think uh, you know it's done well so i've taken it off now and uh, so that's uh, that trade is also closed all right folks so have a good day i'll speak to you tomorrow thanks